What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, consider hitting the subscribe button down below for review videos, vlogs, and firearms. Also, consider following me on Instagram, at azgearguy. Look forward to seeing you guys over there. I wanted to do another knife video as it has been a very long time since I've done one and I thought I'd bring you one that I've really enjoyed carrying in my EDC lately. So this video is going to be short, sweet, and to the point. Today I wanted to talk to you about the Benchmade CLA 4300 automatic knife. Let's get into it. The CLA is one of Benchmade's line of tactical black class knives. CLA in the name stands for composite, light, and automatic. This knife definitely lives up to its name because it's precisely all of those things. It has a lightweight blade and a G10 handle, and is a great compact size for EDC. It is a simple yet effective design and a great minimalist option for you minimalist EDC people out there. The deployment of the blade is fast and super responsive. As you can see, the knife has a reversible deep carry pocket clip. The CLA also has a very tactile and responsive deployment button and front mounted safety switch. Because this knife is a black class knife, it is designed, developed, and tested for extreme duty. They are the preferred cutting tools for elite military, law enforcement, and public safety personnel around the globe. Overall, I have really, really liked this knife. The knife itself comes in at around 3.4 ounces, and the overall length of the knife is 7.8 inches, and the blade length is around 3.4 inches. The pocket clip can be reversed to a tip up right or left hand carry. I find the clip to be very simple in its design and will not easily detach from your pocket if by chance you're lifting something else out of the same pocket you have this on. The knife is automatic and does have a very nice safety switch that I find to be a very satisfying click. One thing I should mention about the safety selector on this knife is that up means safe and down means unsafe. There's actually not a red safety selector on here, so just be aware when you have this knife that down means unsafe and will deploy if the silver button is pressed. It really doesn't bug me all too much, but I figured I'd let you guys know. The action on this blade is super smooth and very responsive, and I find it to be a classic Benchmade knife. Uh, there's really not much to say about it except that Benchmade just makes really good knives. The blade has a bit of jimping here on the back, and as you can see, it just makes it really nice to put your thumb right on the back there. Um, if you're carving something, if you're doing a little bit more heavy duty work, uh, having this jimping on the back is actually very useful because it allows you to have less slippage on the knife as you're gripping it kind of kind of like this. I'm very pleased with that. I'm very sad when I don't see knives with that. So uh, I think that's just becoming a very standard feature of a lot of knives now. I really like that the deployment button is one that is easy to see and it stands out. Um, I know that when I draw my knife, I mean, it's very easy for me to put my thumb there, but um, for those that I hand the knife to, they usually ask me where, you know, how, how they deploy this, and I'll say it's just the silver button. And so it's really nice that it's a different color from the rest of the knife. Um, but another thing too, check out the grip on this knife. It is super awesome. I mean, it comes in a lot of different other colors and designs and whatnot, but um, I do like that this version has kind of this... Um, this G10 kind of a two, almost two-tone color, but it's really not. It's just a shiny black and then a matte black. Um, and it kind of kind of glows in the light. Um, you've kind of got a little bit of the light from the window here, but um, I really do like that. Um, and on, it's on both sides. The blade is a drop point design with a black satin finish, and the steel on the blade is 154 cm. And it's an ideal steel for um, just everyday carry for tactical use, so so to speak, um, and Benchmade has classified it as such. So um, this is made to be a everyday carry tactical knife that you can use pretty much for any task. Out of the box, I think this knife has a very, very sharp edge. Many times the knives out of Benchmade's boxes come super sharp, and I haven't found that too many times I've needed to sharpen a Benchmade, but if you want a finer, finer edge on it, go for it. That's that's your prerogative. You go ahead and sharpen that as you will. But I think out of the box, they have really good edges on them um, and they're usually ready to go. All right guys, so I figured that I would come outside and just give you an example of how this knife performs with uh, cutting paper, cardboard, and some wood. So let's get into it. Okay, so we've got our paper here. 
Um, we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. So here we go. So overall not bad with the paper. Now with some cardboard. Now with some wood. Also to note, uh, Benchmade also includes these uh, little carrying cases for your knives. I never really use it, but I think it's a nice touch from them. One thing I think you'll find really cool about Benchmade is that their knives all come with what is called the Benchmade Life Sharp um, guarantee. And basically, if there's any time that you don't feel comfortable sharpening your own knife, you can actually send it into them and they will go ahead and sharp, sharpen it for free. And when you send it in too, they'll also tune up your knife, basically lubricate it, maybe take it apart and um, get rid of all the dirt and grime that may have built up over time. I think for the price you pay, it's totally worth that, uh, that much. I mean, that's a very nice service for them to provide. And I would suggest taking advantage of it if you can. I think out of the box, this knife really speaks for itself. I would make an ideal EDC knife if, uh, if you're looking for one, if you're in the market for one, or if you're just looking to add another knife to your rotation and or to your collection. I've been carrying this knife for roughly two months now, and I don't see myself changing uh, it out of my rotation anytime soon. This is definitely one that I like to carry. It's a good size, and um, it's not too big, it's not too small, and, and I've really, really enjoyed just carrying a Benchmade. So I highly recommend you get this one and or any other Benchmades because I think they make quality knives and they really stick by their products. If you're looking for any type of Benchmades or anything like that, um, I'll leave a link for this knife in particular in the description below. As a, as a disclaimer, I wanna let you guys know that if you're wanting to get into the automatic knife world, to make sure that in your city, county, or state that they have legalized automatic knives aka switch blades. This is considered a switch blade, so just be aware when you're put your purchasing this knife um, that it is legal where you live. What is your favorite go-to EDC knife? If there are knives that you want me to check out, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to check them out and potentially buy them. If this video was helpful to you in any way, go ahead and hit that like button down below. It really does help the channel and I do appreciate it very much. That is going to be all for this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.